Okay, I have a little bit of time here, and so I'm going to remake the video that I did last night that came out absolutely screwed up. And the topic right now is a, a big mystery. <laughs> and that mystery is, is that I had two independent installations of Ubuntu 10.04 by which um, uh, the pogo game Balloon Bounce that's played in it was played in the Firefox web browser um, had sound in one without my having to make modifications to it that I had to make another exact installation of Ubuntu 10.04 that required that I did make some modifications to it. So the big, <coughs> the big question <coughs> The big mystery is what is its cause, and I'll, I'll get into the specifics as to, as to what happened. Originally, I'd made a, a series of videos on getting sound to work in, in Java, and I drew some conclusions that now um, I am convinced are actually false. And by the way, I've been doing this in Windows with the Logitech camera, because at least right now, because I don't want to have to do this again. Um, <laughs> And then I'm probably going to go back and make a note of what codecs I use with the GUVC Buter that resulted in just sound and a scrambled picture from me on YouTube for my last video there. Okay, so let's let's quick review. In the first, I have two installations of Ubuntu 10.04 on my hard disk. I, when I turn the computer on, I can choose which one to go into. Or at least at one point I had two installations of Ubuntu 10.04. I upgraded one of those installations, and I, as part of my just checking to see whether um, uh, I still had all the features that I had in my earlier version of Ubuntu, uh, I, I checked to see if I can go to Pogo and I could play a Java game and have the game appear for one and for sound to come up. And in that process, on that partition, what I ended up finding out was for that situation, for whatever parameters that were in place in that installation of Ubuntu 10.04, what I needed to do was rename one of the Java library sound files, which I believe is called livejsoundalza.so, and I, you know, I don't remember the exact location of it, but it's detailed in that video set. And what I found out was that uh, I wouldn't get any sound of the game unless, unless I had renamed that file to something else so Java couldn't f use it or find it. Okay, And I also at least came to the belief, although I hadn't actually done any what I call scientific testing, that is seeing whether it worked with or without the OpenJDK, um, OpenJDK 6, JRE, Headless, and JRE Libraries, these three packages here that I have listed, I didn't check to see whether adding those or removing them. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't recall whether I. A better way to say it is, I don't recall whether I did that. I, I'm led to believe that removing those made the difference, but that could be wrong. And so, anyway, my conclusion was is that I thought that if you had a bunch of 1004, this is all you had to do: just remove the three open JDK packages and rename that 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 Java. LiveJSoundAlza.so file to something else. Well, um, <laughs> it turned out that when I went to uh, my, after I'd upgraded, I went to my Ubuntu 1004 just to do some cross comparisons to see if I can come up with some answers besides just guesses and, and talk, you know, to do some pretty much um, use the scientific method, I guess, you know. Try it with this installed. Try it without that installed. Try it with this driver with this driver loaded. Try it without that driver loaded, and then finally come up to see what see what the real answer was. Because I, I went to a bunch of ten ten and I'd done all the same things that I'd done in my earlier bunch of ten oh four, and I thought I'd been uh, tricked into keeping the OpenJDK still in there, and uh, ended up 
removing it and I got just a little bit more sound and I think that maybe that sound may have been produced actually by Adobe Flash. It's the opening song that comes up when Balloon Bounce starts and I got maybe just one uh, one noise out of Bloom Bounce, where really Bloom Bounce has a whole series. It plays a song the entire time that you're you're playing it. Every time one of these little alien balloons hits another balloon, it'll make a little squeal like it's hurt or you know, ooh, something like that. And uh, definitely wasn't getting that in Ubuntu 10.10, even though I had made the changes and I had gone a little further to find out that the Ubuntu Software Center, at least by my perception, and I could be wrong, was, um, was, uh, see, I got a timer, I can look, uh, was, um, not reporting that I had the Open JDK installed when in fact I did, so I had to use the grep command, and I went over all that stuff, just how to, to get to that, but that's really an incomplete solution. So I thought I had my solution and my parameters, but what happened was, is I went back uh, to do the, these, this testing in Ubuntu 10.04, the same version that I had just upgraded from, the same version that I had just come up with that solution from, and I went to Pogo just without doing anything at first, just went to Pogo, tried to start it, game wouldn't start, then I uninstalled the IC plugin, and the game started, and it had sounds. Like, okay, well, I'm going to go find out exactly what I've gotten here and I'm going to go into a little more depth because maybe I could use that knowledge to carry forward to 10.10 because .10, obviously I don't have the complete solution because it's not, certainly isn't behaving the way it is here. It was working perfectly in a 10.04 after I simply only removed the IST plugin. I went and I did my, the dpackage minus L command. I piped it to grep and I searched for open GDK and guess what? These three packages were actually installed. These are the same packages that, as far as I know, I have to look at the videos again, but I think that I had to actually remove those. You know, the question is in those in those videos, did did I did I really test the behavior before and after I removed the open GDK to determine it was interfering with my sound. All I know is that in Adventure 1010, that made the difference between the opening song playing and not playing. It wouldn't play if I had the Open JDK installed under the current configuration I had in Ubuntu 1010. But to, but to assume that all the underlying pieces of software and drivers are exactly the same in Ubuntu 1004 or Ubuntu 1010, or even between two identical versions of Ubuntu 1004, I'm going to show in this presentation is a false assumption. I also noted that uh, even though in, a, in the second installation of Ubuntu 10.04, even though my sound was working perfectly, I checked the to see if I had actually renamed the, the uh, livejsoundalza.so file to something else so Java wouldn't be able to use it because it's not expecting a different name other than livejsoundalza.so, and guess what? I hadn't. So that wasn't a barrier for my configuration. And all of a sudden, 